Ever wonder what's growing on in Vineland? Well, curiosity led us to the Research and Innovation Center's open house for a very big announcement. Well, the open house is, is a really an opportunity for us to showcase some of the research that's going on here. So we decided to select for tonight the Hardy Rose Breeding Program, um, which was a program that originally came out of Agriculture Canada in Morden, but very much focused on developing roses which are disease resistant um, to black spot diseases for the rose aficionados out there, and also to, um, it's, it's very cold hardy. Second one is, is sweet potatoes. Whether you know it or not, you've probably seen it in your stores. Sweet potatoes are everywhere now. They're the fry of the day. Sweet potato fry is a delicious alternative. Um, but sales have gone through the roof. Ontario has about 1,300 acres of sweet potatoes, and it should be 10 times that to satisfy the demand. So really what this research program is all about is about um, developing varieties which can be grown in Canada to help fill the gap between imports and what's locally produced. And then the third project is what we call our World Crops Program. So this program is all about creating uh, or evaluating new crop varieties that are desired by these new, new immigrants coming to Canada and uh, enabling Canadian farmers then to grow these and profit from this new consumer market. And then lastly, we have uh, a consumer insights group and they really go across all of these programs because you, understanding the consumer mindset, understanding the market is critical to be able to access that market. So that's what they do. They're the glue that sort of holds bits and pieces together um, across those programs. Pierre, what brings you to Vineland this evening? Well, a wonderful announcement uh, for Vineland, uh, two and a half million dollars in federal funding to support uh, a key project, a uh, research project that they're working on here to the benefit of uh, rose growers, but ultimately to the benefit of Canadians and of course we're hoping uh, rose growers around the world. Now, why has the government chosen Vineland specifically? They know exactly what they're doing. I mean, they have tremendous capability here, a lot of talent here, a lot of know-how, and I think we see that in the success of their other projects. The government has a tremendous amount of confidence in the work that is done here, and uh, we're happy to make an investment that, that helps them move forward with, uh, with research. Vineland Research and Innovation Centre is, is focused on providing solutions for Canadian farmers. I mean, when we started originally, the focus was very much supposed to be on Niagara, and then it became Ontario, and then it became national. And really, though, we go beyond even Canadian borders now because some of the research we're doing has products which will be available on the international market. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful place. Um, a lot of great people working here, but, but again, our, our stakeholders are... The, uh, the Canadian farmers, well, Canadian horticulture uh, industry, really, yeah. Now, what does the timeline look like for these types of projects? Well, the, the projects are really, um, were, are basically funded for five years, which is, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, most projects get, if you're lucky, you get two years, which really just allows you to get your teeth into something. But five years, yeah, we should, uh, at the end of that five years, we'll have something tangible to show and, and, and create, one of, the, one of my colleagues just said it, you know, create re return on the investment by the federal government by enabling these, um, these crops to be grown by farmers to access these new opportunities and, and basically um, uh, gain from the work we're doing in order to sustain the farms and the farming way of life. Really. Federal funding for the Vineland Research and Innovation Center will help forward projects already well underway, with the long-term goal of enhancing the Ontario agricultural landscape. Reporting for The Source, I'm Katie Jones.